had to scratch <laughs> my face right then. She's like, we're almost live. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. Okay, we're good. So we're coming from the Glory Hound residence in our somewhat new studio. It's not finished. So One wall painted. Just Unfinished yeah. studio. Painted. Three more months and we will paint the second Heck wall. yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Realistic time goals. I'm not Kickstarter here. I'm not trying to like – Lie to people. <laughs> Our comments are <laughs> nice and big, though, on a <laughs> huge screen, like, way above yes, us. Yes, this is yeah. cool. This is, like, oh. legit. So, like, if we're staring into the sky, now you guys know why. It just means we're enamored <laughs> with your feedback. <laughs> That's right. And thank you, everybody, for joining us. we got MM here, Vincent Hawk. We have Kabuki. Brian Kabuki. Fightmaster Neff. Oh. Yeah, we we just all when Brian like joined, we all we were like, what? Oh, there's a Fightmaster we in the We were room. all, yeah, I a little know. intimidated. <laughs> you don't put Fightmaster as your middle name unless you know how to fight. Right? I, I'm I'm guessing that's his D legal middle it's name. down for business it's right like there. It's like a guaranteed challenge right there. It's yeah. like putting in there like, bam, as your middle name. People so just expect you to be, you know, <laughs> all the time. We're going to talk, one, about On Mars today as well as we're going to talk about Lost in Paradise. And we're also going to talk about Kickstarter and all the crazy stuff that's going on there. So if you guys want to throw up in the comments right now which one you guys want to hear about first, let me know. And, and we'll we do whatever we want anyways. for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do whatever we want anyways. In because the meantime, I think it's, you're gonna it's perform important. A song for some us, people right? only have 30 minutes to listen to all this. Wow, and this some people, like, you know, they have a little the bit longer. The floor is lava. My three-year-old son wants right, me to tell you the floor is lava. Oh, my god! Hold on. Let me just look at this first. Your dog <laughs> is going to die, by the way. Don't tell Aww. a three-year-old that. <laughs> oh, no. Aww. So sad. <laughs> I mean, if the floor was lava. It's but it's – I'll hold my feet up the whole time, We have actually. On Mars. So we want to hear about – We're going to hear about the Kickstarters first. Yes, no, maybe. No, All right, on well Mars. On Mars. Okay. They just want to show. They don't want to participate. Oh, gosh. Dang it. They're I back. really wanted to talk about how Vincent upset I was about everything well, we first off, just oh. to be all cranky. Well, Let's do yeah. it in the middle. <laughs> in you the middle. It's literally your show. A you little bit here, want. a little yeah, bit there. Yeah, it's got your name on it. It says <laughs> Glory Hound Presents. See, they want Kickstarter issues. I'm all for it. Okay. All right. We're going to talk about Kickstarter issues. What does his do three-year-old son want? <laughs> We're going to do a 30-minute lava report. A lava report? My feet are That's still right. up, too. Like, it's no joke. I'm going to put them on a pillow. Though. All right. I'm going to cheat. I'm glad your dog so is lava proof. Kickstarter recently went he's ahead and shut Russell. down. They can't be burned. They shut down. What is it? Hunt the Ravengers. Let's just Hunt the they Ravenger. shut down. Papillon. 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 They shut down. Uh, folded space, folding space. Yeah. Which two of those yeah. were things we were going to talk about? We were going to talk about Hunt the Ravager and folding space because yeah. we got to play folding space. We I looked at it. She played it. We already talked about Papillon. We had backed Papillon and everything. Oh, yeah. And they had – what we understand is they had done the suspension – or ha they actually they canceled the two that were they in the middle the two of new it. Ones and they the Ravager, the, they yeah. suspended Papillon, which had and already funded, and then they suspended Papillon. And, and they're refunding too. It's not just yeah. So that, right. that's that's yeah. my biggest thing. Right. Like if you if you suspect something's wrong, suspend like current campaigns. Don't go back to an old campaign that funded like a day ago and be like, we're going to suspend it. And then yeah. you know what? We're also going to refund everybody. So I now no matter what, they have to start that campaign completely that all over. That is my biggest issue yeah, is the fact Kabuki that kid. yeah colossal is the fact that they went ahead and went back retro retroactively and suspended papillon and then refunded everybody's if they money. suspended me one thing and said hey you guys can get your funds yet that just puts it on hold but when you right. say we refund everybody that means they have to do that campaign all over from scratch so all funding all you know bgg right, all, Con, all the places they've been at done all their marketing right. is just done and hopefully and people will come back Hopefully, but I bet you they won't get as many people. So I, had I don't know. Do you wonder if this is like because it's just press that if they but were it's to not restart no one's really it? they're talking about Papillon. They're talking about the two new ones that got suspended, but no one's saying like, guys, don't I had people Papillon. reach out to me with messages like, hey, do you know what happened? Why is this like yeah. gone? You know, like so, so I don't know. Yeah, I Alan, don't believe people reach out to you. Alan, I completely agree In with you. Mind. The thing about Papillon is it's never going to fund at the same level again. I 100% yeah, agree with that. I don't think it's going to fund no? at the same level again. You don't no? think this you lose, like – You lose from momentum. Some people yeah. will stay yeah. away now. Because, because it's a buildup. People, people take years Yeah, and some people are also – saying that like now they have a distrust for Colossal like they're doing something shady when yeah. they weren't doing something shady they're doing what a lot of creators do but they just well were they running the campaign simultaneously and is so that no. against the rules so here's what happened so they ran they ran Papillon and it ended like very next day they did yeah. the Ravenger the issue is that Folding Space I think technically started the last day of Papillon which they don't own Maple Games or Folding Space but they are listed as a collaborator and since they're right. listed as a collaborator 
Kickstarter, whatever their algorithm is, or somebody complained, they said, oh, you're tied to this campaign, this campaign, and one that's currently going that's about to end today. Like, that's too many. We're shutting them down. So Michael also says, so they were suspended because of the games that weren't delivered. And I completely understand and but agree. Man, that's a slippery slope. With that, however, cool when you go not, back. Sandy Peters. Right. There's so many game companies when you that go have back multiple campaigns And out. look at the game companies and stuff. And we went back and looked through all of Colossal's Kickstarters that they've done. And I believe they have five that were like delivered have that have not been delivered. Well, that's if you count the new ones. But it's yeah, not but that many. there were what three of them that were brand brand new, like this year, out of those five that weren't delivered. So well, the five is overall, including like folding space and like I don't think there was just five yeah. pending completely. That like most well, of their stuff has been already been. Sent what I'm out. saying is, is that some people were like, oh my gosh, you know, they have like eight to ten games that haven't been delivered. And that, that was bad. not the case. Like we went back and we looked at everything. And saw what was delivered and what wasn't. And it really was quite on par with a lot of the companies that are hitting Kickstarter very heavily. Yeah, if you if you go to Kickstarter quarterly, like every three months, you're going to have multiple stuff in process. Right. What do you so think the majority of the like board gaming hobby, do they feel like, oh, this sucks, Colossal's been screwed? Or do you think the majority of the hobby is going, oh, Colossal was being shady? Like, where where is, like, the PR landing I, on I this as far 50, as, like... 50. It's, it's, I think it's your own natural inclination. If you assume that companies are out to screw you or that they're out there just to make Kickstarter money and run off. Like, if you think Colossal's going to stay around, but then Colossal, obviously yeah. you're going to say, oh, they got screwed. But and if you think Colossal's just trying to take your money and run off, then you're like, oh, good, they saved us. I don't think that's the case. I no, no, I Colossal's not. I ended up talking to some of the people at Colossal, and they said that they were given the blanket regular Kickstarter response of, you know, hey. Like the form letter. Yeah, the form the professional letter of it. The and then that was the only explanation been. they got for anything that happened. Yeah. And that's what I was told. Like and that's pretty crappy. Like yeah. that's the only thing that you're told and you're like, hey, what did we do wrong? And you know, you're trying to get Here's in contact with letter. them. And then they're like, Nope, suspended and then they're like, Nope, refunded. Like I it is kind of crazy too because Kickstarter has cost themselves a bunch of money. They lost all the money that they Right, because they get a cut of all of this Papillon. stuff. So yeah. I mean that's that's mm -hmm. that's an interest interesting wrinkle that they were like willing that they thought there was such a, a uh, whatever grievous infraction or whatever that they're like no no we're gonna you know not make our I money off it. of these as, as I well. I hundred percent agree with suspending Hunt the Ravenger and um, Folding Space if you felt like there was some duplicity there because they are collaborators on both like they owned one and they collaborated on the other but one. Where, but where's that's the line there though? But why go back to Papillon? Yeah. That that's that for me was like There's also why? I also wonder like where the line is because like if I'm a a person who's like a co-designer on this other game, yeah. but I've got my other game that I put let's say I'm Vital well, Asserta, about like and I'm working with this designer right. on this one, but I'm also got my main game out. Think it about like does that blur the line? Or is you that think about the, the artist, like Micro. Like he's on like 17 right. campaigns right, right now. Like is that are you yeah. going to go after artists too? Like Right, James Hudson usually has helped out in multiple games. I mean, lots of people have. Yeah, you like kind of wonder where they draw that line. To it. I, I think it's based off like the bank account somebody was telling me, but bank account? What do you mean? Like, so if the fu Kickstarter funds are all going into like the same account, so oh supposedly. Right. Oh right. But okay, I don't know okay. the specifics of what kind of deal Maple well and Colossal had. I don't know Colossal enough about that collaboration. I feel like Colossal was like helping promote okay. it, but they said very specifically when we sat down, oh, that's a f that folding space. That's a Maple game. They didn't say like. Oh, here's one of our other games or one of our partners. They were like, right. oh, here's a Maple game that we're also helping demonstrate. But are they owned by the like same entity? Is that I the idea? I don't think so, no. Yeah. Okay, I so I feel like this <laughs> was more than just a I, – I actually feel like there's something more going on in the background to all this, guys. Because you do kind of wonder. There's so many games and so many game companies that do this and could have this infraction like upon them all the time. Like as it is like – I mean, Steve Jackson Games uh, literally has two accounts, and they talked to Kickstarter about that. And Kickstarter's like, yeah, sure, whatever. But, like, there's other companies doing other random crap that seems like it wouldn't be legit on Kickstarter. So or, like, the Cool Mini or Not stuff, you know, where they have tons and tons of campaigns that, that come out every year. Undelivered. Right. And sometimes, you know, their stuff gets heavily delayed. And it takes forever to get to you sometimes. I'm like, dude, you're a big company. Give me my stuff. <laughs> but I feel like that 
there is something more going on. So you think there's some like disgruntled I, I think employee some or something? I think that I think it's more of a like I got both of you guys. I think it's more of a situation <laughs> where um, a backer or s a certain group of backers complained about something. But like one or of the one of the unfulfilled things is anti up, like an expansion, like kind of like card game inside Western Legends. It's not like it's Western Legends. It's or like an expansion. Right. Does that count against you now too? Like I also feel like. What about reprints? Do those count against you? <coughs> I feel like people are getting a little spooked too, as far as like because we just had what is it the big Solar City right? Yeah. Yeah. Thing yeah. that happened where they ran off with that money, and they ran off with money for two campaigns. So. Well, that was the CEO. So let's make a distinction yeah, between the, the company. Yeah, it was the CEO. Because it feels like everyone at that ran company was that. blindsided by yeah, this they were. boss who basically just went, "Oh, look at all this money. See ya." You know, and it wasn't right. even like that much money. It was like a. It was like. 60 I don't know grand, how much it was. Like and it's all alleged, but that's what well, the. Yeah, that seems the to be what the buzz is. I heard something is. like to a hundred. A hundred thousand, I think. Okay, so between the two, yeah. but it yeah. was between both. Even of them. that, that's like two years worth of pay. Like, I hope he finds another job soon. Like, yeah, you're not running away for for good. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's but you, can't, like you can't live off of that. <laughs> but this <laughs> stuff actually, real. I mean, look, I have continued to not be as avid of a Kickstarter, right, as because a lot of, of people, things. because I had a similar bad experience early on, early on yeah. with Odin's Ravens. You know, so because it was the same kind of situation, the guy just disappeared with a bunch of money. Well, and MM so says, since it was a crowdfunding site, maybe it would have been nice if they would have allowed the crowd to decide on what action to take. I definitely think so as far as that Papillon Kickstarter would have been. I would have liked to have been noted for that because honestly, Kickstarter, although they are hosting all of this stuff, they have no idea what's going on in the board game community. They don't know how the board right. game community operates. And this is such they a know small nothing. little he's fraction he's of their of what, total pie. Are you, what's that? are you talking about Kickstarter? <coughs> yeah, for Kickstarter. Yeah. The board, board is game is pretty part. big. It's no, growing, I'm saying billions. But but uh, if you're not a board gamer, you don't know about right. the specific They're companies not and the yeah. details yeah. of what they yeah, do no, and that how I they understand. operate. But no, There's people funding feature films and stuff on Kickstarter. You know, There is, but I mean, we are talking like millions of dollars. Yeah, it's definitely has grown and added up to a... So Kabuki Kid, he's talking about Planets of the Apes. That's a whole nother fall. I had talked about that planet... Planets of the Ape stuff. That's on a, that one did oh actually look shady, and then now that it's one was it's shady defunded. looking. People have been canceling their yeah, projects left and right. They There's lost like twenty thousand yeah. on that, so it's not yeah, funded. Yeah, hundred thousand down to like yeah. seventy five. The community does rough. a good job of watching out for this stuff. I remember they there's been a few like that job, yeah. where people have like flooded the like they'll back for a dollar. They'll flood the comments with, "Hey, this is a shady Kickstarter. Jump out, jump out." Because I remember there was one. I don't remember the name. I apologize. Where they basically just copied all of the mechanics of, another of game. another game. And yeah. just oh kind of yeah. relabeled it something else. Yeah. Um, that one got shut down too. Yeah. So I think this they're kind they're of they're stuff really does cause ripples. Really does yeah. hurt Kickstarter. It really does turn people off to the platform as a whole. Well, I'm thinking as a creator, well if I was putting out something like every say four months or so, yeah. like new game, and that was kind of like how I was keeping my game company going afloat. Yeah. I'd be really nervous right and now. And Alan had asked about, you know, do you think that people are going to leave Kickstarter and go to other funding There's a good chance that places, you could say, like, you know? so if you know that you need to do four a year and the Kickstarter's going to shut you down, I can see doing yeah. two on Kickstarter and then doing one on Indiegogo yeah. or, or doing one around. on Game Crafter. And Michael says that yeah. board games on Kickstarter has made almost $700 million there we go. Uh, and, cloud and cloud games. Cloud games. That's, yeah, yeah that's... Well. But still, that's a big chunk. That's a sufficient. Yeah, I, I wonder I what percentage of that is just board games. Well, I, I was going to say, yeah. I, I looked it up it like is a, a lot. while oh, ago. Oh, yeah. It's, and it's growing significantly. Yeah. yeah Absolutely. Where video games have gone down, right. the Kickstarter board games have gone up. Because yep. less and less people are more inc are inclined to back board or video games. Video take games. Years. But board games. And, yes. a lot of those and a lot of those oh, have not card delivered games, well. Card games. Yeah, card oh, games card are games. huge on Kickstarter. Because oh, and card games. Tons so of people launch card games there. That's just board games and card games. Got 700 it. million. I would say that no, people are not going to leave Kickstarter for this. Yeah, I don't think people will leave um, Kickstarter, but they could start spreading out some of their campaigns onto a different I one. They might take like a smaller card game. I think game the news cycle is so fast, and in board games too, that this we're all going to forget about this in a few we weeks. We will, I think but so game too. creators won't. Like, yeah. if I'm putting stuff on Kickstarter, I'm going to remember They're this. definitely going to be more careful. Yeah. Everyone's going to be way more careful going here's forward. The thing but they're not going to stop using it. It's no. such a yeah, good Yeah, I was going to say, here's the thing with it. Kickstarter. The fact is that if people are looking for something to crowdfund, where are you going to go? You're going to go to Kickstarter. So, like, well, it's, it's so the other platforms. Linked well, the other platforms games. don't get enough eyes to it. Yeah. So, as a creator, you're going to go, yeah, Kickstarter could be crappy, 
like like the Facebook chat. Facebook chat is really crappy, but you know what? I still record there and Facebook, stream there yeah. all the time because people are on Facebook. So like, so no matter the how chicken crappy the it gets. I'm still going to be there. So sort of the chicken and the egg, right? If people think Kickstarter sucks, they need to go to another platform. But no one wants to be the first one to go to the other platform because, because your games aren't gonna they're do not going to well. get the visibility. I, I remember yeah. uh, the Dice Tower, who runs a Kickstarter every year. He went to Indiegogo one year. Did and he? then the next year he went back to like Kickstarter. Nope. <laughs> right? Because that's just so indelibly connected yeah. with board games is Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. Not crowdfunding, but Kickstarter. Right. Yeah, and I, I agree with Kabuki Kid. I he says, or I'm sorry, she says, I think unless this happens to other companies too, it won't factor in much. And I completely yeah. agree. It'll be it does stay fairly. It does yeah. seem like it's fairly People will forget specific very to quickly. Colossal right now. Yeah. yeah it's and I would like to know more of why, but who knows? I would we'll too, but I have no idea. Idea. We're and not getting the whole story. Yeah, honestly, and this I is do all think just conjecture. There right. was something else in there for it to happen because there's yeah. too many other companies breaking the rules. There's like too many odd things that happen. I think it was during just it that folding space, being a collaborator on folding space, and then yeah. that popping the same day as Papillon still being up. I think that was what triggered it because the other stuff, I mean, are separated. Plus, it doesn't help that they did one. They did consumption a little while ago. Not that long ago, because we talked about it in the last three months. Yeah. Like, I think it was the beginning, uh, sometime during this year. Yeah, it was And then, spring. bam, they came back with that. And then, like, not even two days after one campaign ends, you start another one. It might just be the frequency. Like, maybe their frequency <laughs> needs to slow down. Michael's like, should I go to Instagram? Right, like, right. <laughs> since Facebook sucks. Uh, so, Al uh, I'm sorry, Michael, if you want to go over to YouTube, our comments show up on YouTube. <laughs> But <laughs> you, can, you can stay on Facebook. That's totally fine. We still got yeah. you, man. YouTube has the most comments. We for still sure. got you, man. And but Alan Facebook is lava. Yeah, yeah. Facebook Just is FYI. lava. Yeah. <laughs> you, s you stay <laughs> off of there. You keep your feet up, okay? So Alan also says that, mm. you know, he wishes there was an actual platform, you know, in Just BGG and stuff. Just for board games and crowdfunding. That would be really, really sweet because that's pretty much all I oh, find. Oh, like, uh, like a crowdfunding site that's just board games. Yeah, a crowdfunding. Title Blade, y'all. Look who's in the I house. BGG is James so hard Hudson. to operate. Hey, I could James. Yeah, I could see something like BGG or something. Blades? Creating something like that as a I'm extension. I'm sorry, did you just say Title Blade, y'all? Title Blade, y'all? Mm. <laughs> I've said like five <laughs> times. <laughs> Can't not say yeah, it. I don't. I don't think people are going to move away from Kickstarter. I don't think so either. At It'll all. Just this will all blow over very And quickly. again, if somebody created just a platform for board games, then they wouldn't be getting those random people that come across those just in the general. That's true. You know, of being on Kickstarter as a whole. That's you true. Know, there's you could come to Kickstarter so much because power you get some weird like. Here's an eco straw that you can use that right. filters water on art Facebook. And then they're something. like, hey, back on Facebook, eco the then game. you click on it, <laughs> and then you go over, yeah. and then you see something like Tidal Blades. And yeah. you're like, oh, what's this Tidal Blades all <laughs> about? Next thing you know, Every time you say Tidal Blades, game. you get 20 bucks for James Hudson. No, it's a dollar. <laughs> it's a dollar. I'm really just hustling. you got to up your price, man. <laughs> By the way, I like the no hat look. He got a haircut recently. Yeah. So he felt like he had to show it off, No, this is like I did my hair yesterday for work, and I woke up this morning, and it was still like that. So I was like, all right, it's good. Maybe he's born with it. I think overall. <laughs> that one people aren't going to leave Kickstarter. Two, no. I feel like this was more of a one-off thing. That there was something behind the scenes extra that was happening for that campaign. And I mean, I hope that there's no other crazy suspensions or massive like no, you know, cancellation of projects and stuff like that on Kickstarter. Because I think if it continued, it would definitely hurt the board game community. I think the biggest thing Kickstarter done has done that upset me was going back on Papillon and then refunding that one. I think that was, for me, that was the line. Yeah. Like, everything else they did, I 100% supported. Like, yeah, if you are unsure, suspend, find out what's going on. But why go back to Papillon and and unfund it. That, that yeah, that seems that like... That just hurts Colossal That seems time. almost like maliciously... Because who knows if Colossal's already sent out like There's orders and no stuff. There's no other... Yeah, you know, they could have. they're expected to come have. up they with money now. It's going to be a big hit for them. Sent that out. Like, that's... Yeah. it would be interesting to see if, like... I mean, I hope I don't not. Know. But I'm I mean really... I, the part that interests me the most is the sort of... How is the PR going to, like... Like recover unfold. from that. Right. Well, I wonder, like, are some peop people are really saying, like, oh, Colossal was trying to deceive. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Started, but, like, that's not the case. Are people going to rally behind Colossal as, like, the victim that Kickstarter screwed? Or are they going to say, oh, yeah, screw Colossal. They're, they you know, too many or the most they're shady. Right now, yeah. Or the most likely scenario, they're just going to forget and move on. We've got Avengers Endgame happening but right now. But at some point. We got Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm not thinking about Papillon. <laughs> but at I'm some saying. point, Papillon will probably come back. Well, well, what do you think? Do you think Papillon will, Papillon will come, come back to Kickstarter? I don't know. Maybe it won't. 
Well, that's a good, that's a interesting thought because I mean, maybe Colossal will just wait to see how public opinion kind of are assesses they, them. Are they even as allowed either the to victim come back. or the perpetrator? Maybe we don't know. Like it could be their account could just be suspended. Can Colossal even come back to Kickstarter? Let alone with one of the ones that got suspended and re and refunded. I, I would assume so. I don't know, but well, we're assuming they're a lot. probably not going to yeah. be able to launch anything until I don't know what some get fulfilled. Right, I mean and how long can they? How long can they last on what they've made off of other projects? How long can they sustain themselves without new money coming in? That's true. There's a reason why they keep going back to Kickstarter. Well, and they can also – they can still publish things traditionally. Yeah, they can if they've got those funds set yeah. aside. And who knows if they do or don't. Yeah, no uh, it's all conjecture. No one knows what they're yeah. The really sad part is, is to all of the – all of that buildup that companies do as far as, like, yeah. going to conventions, which yeah. costs money, showing people the game, oh, yeah. and then also spending advertising dollars on BGG or, you know, sending those copies out to other people and reviewers and stuff. Like, they've lost all of that. And, yeah. they're Before, and every company lost and all they, that. And they schedule out these these Kickstarters. They're, they're banking on a certain right. influx of money at certain intervals yeah. throughout the year. So even just throwing off the timing of that, who knows, like you said, what they have in the reserves, yep. how, how hard it's it hit that's going to hit them. <laughs> Kickstarter versus Colossal Kaiju <laughs> Super Fight. Go. Wow. <laughs> I would pay to see that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I feel bad. I know Travis Chance. Like I've yeah. met him at cons. I've yeah. played games with him. He seems like a total – Like my guess is that they've been screwed, that they yeah. didn't mean to do anything against the rules. Right. Because like the rules aren't super specific. <laughs> and I think they're just doing the same thing, like you said, so many other companies do – so my f my feeling is like I see them as more of the victim here, but like we said, we don't know the whole story. And Michael's also saying that he doesn't think anybody no. is going to care in the long run. I hope it does relaunch and it does better. Cause I Pat do Pat hope was it a does game I was excited better. about. I, mean, I was too. They I tried agree. To be I think it money, will. But I think it will make more money. Yeah. I think it will All come right. back and make. Because now I got to spend that Pappy on money this week. We're just going to do a final thought from each of us. Greg, final thought. I hope Colossal isn't hit too hard by this. I hope they're able to to jump back in. Okay. Yeah, I hope Colossal recover. doesn't fold. I hope that they uh, are able to keep going forward. Yeah. We really don't know what they're – I mean, board game margins are super tight. They, they can be, yeah. So we have no idea what they've spent. Luckily, they they've had some reserved. big games like Great Western. You yeah. know, I mean, they've, I, they've I had hope some. I that, that, uh, that they're doing okay. Overall, I know. feel like Colossal wasn't doing anything shady. They just got in a bad place at the wrong time or somebody said something that yeah. looked bad upon them. I don't feel like after doing the research and looking at what they had outstanding versus what they were doing, that they were doing anything different than any other <laughs> board game company right yeah. now. They had an aggressive launch so schedule, but they weren't doing something illegal. Yeah, so I'm really hoping that it was – well, per Kickstarter rules, they were doing things that were illegal, but nobody oh. enforces those Kickstarter rules because, you know, you have to fund and give people something before you fund again. Then that's just period. Right. But that's, for Kickstarter. I mean, there's so many, there's but so many companies that yeah, can't do that. Yeah, I'm saying they're not doing anything out of the boundary of what they followed precedent. Everybody else yeah. is doing. It's yeah. like when you're yeah. driving on the freeway and you're going 75 and you get pulled over, but yeah. everybody else is also like, going 75. Right. That guy was going like, 80. It doesn't matter. You were, were still breaking the yeah, rule. We're yeah. all going 10 over, but and like Vincent everybody says, is. says, my wife was furious. She wants the game big time. And now it's his fault. So I completely Somehow understand. It's my Sorry, fault. <laughs> Sorry, Vincent. Everything's your fault, Vincent. I completely Come on. understand. I wanted Pappy on. Happy too. wife, happy life, bro. I've I've already started collecting butterflies for her. We're collecting up live <laughs> ones I, and yeah, live you caterpillars. 3D print your We're gonna own. be playing. I've been chanting a no. Three D print your own Pappy on. Just to keep I your hope wife that happy. everybody though got a chance to get their frustration out and everything for this. I hope that ki that colossal recovers from this and does really well because I feel like. Some of the things that are being said are just unmerited for yeah. for that, you know. Like Let's assume innocence until there's like obvious. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I like I said, I don't think there was uh, malicious intent here. No, they're just trying to make a buck. All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Speaking of making talking, a buck, yeah, talking about a bunch of craziness. What, on Mars? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's made more than it's a buck. Like super funded on Mars by Vital Lacerda. So I've heard that name before. A little bit. I mean, he's an up and comer. Just you know, yeah. Up and comer. New. This is a for this is by Eagle Griffin Games. It's for one to four players. It lasts about ninety to one hundred and fifty minutes. What were your guys' first impressions of this game? Well, first off, you know what? We're going to scroll down because this video did absolutely yes, nothing for me. Yes, that was my first impression. The video was useless. Yeah, this <laughs> video is <Yeah>. useless. 
I was, was like, what is this? It was like a weird credits where it just told you like two people's names. And, then and that how many was it. games in a row have, have done this? Guys, if you are on <sighs> Kickstarter, it should at least be like a trailer of something. You should yeah. have a trailer for the game to get people excited for like a few minutes and then go right into showing off the game after that. This felt like a teaser for what the video should have been. Yes. Yeah. Well, because it is. It said, like, we'll be on, on Kickstarter I'm April like, whatever. But I'm on Kickstarter right yeah. now. Yeah. Why is this saying on Kickstarter yeah. on yeah. this date? I'm here but already. But, I mean, if that's our biggest complaint. So you want to know no, my initial thoughts? No, it's not a big thoughts? complaint, okay. but it's just the so first impression. So I am the not the heavy Euro gamer. I played my first Feld with Greg actually recently. Mm -hmm. um, we, we picked and I also a mid mid just one for you. bought Castles yeah. of Burgundy. You did? I bought it. It's a great game. I <laughs> just got it. It was on sale on Amazon. Welcome to your life as a Euro gamer. <laughs> so I'm usually very anti-Euro. Um, I have seen but not actually played some of uh, Vital's other games. And just based off the overall length and complexity, for me, I, I, I want to feel like I'm having more fun than I am. Like just br I don't brain burning just yeah. for brain burning sake doesn't appeal to me. So y you're worried about the fun to brain burn yes. ratio. Yes. I, I mean, a complicated game, sure. But I mean, I want to make sure that I'm actually having fun playing it too. It's not right. just like – I did a math problem. Yay! <laughs> I'm just not excited about that. Spreadsheets for but the win. So that that was my initial thoughts was like, oh, man, this is going to be another big game. Yeah. You know, I don't have a lot of – I don't have any of his games. I don't usually play those types of games. Like, it's probably going to be a pass for me. That was my initial thoughts. Okay, but – well, she said just initial thoughts. Okay, just, just initial, initial thoughts. And mine was just the video sucked. Thoughts. Yeah, the video did, <laughs> was not super great. And what two, like when I'm showing these off on Dice Tower, I usually like playing the video. If I have to scroll, people are just like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> like playing a nice video always looks extra good, guys. Okay, so. What about you? First impressions. First impressions. This game looks amazing. First off, it's she a space game. And I freaking love space games. She backed it like last week. I looked at it. I was like, did we already back this? She's like, yeah. I was like, uh, are we going to talk about it first? Yeah. Did you guys, did either of you get to play this at Arizona I Game Fair? I did not. It was always tied up whenever okay. I got to yeah, go I mean, ahead and go Batal over there. was there. He was demoing yeah. it. Yeah. I know a lot of people got up. to play it. So I, I think was I was actually at sad. that convention less time than you were. And you were there like a day. Yeah, I was there one day. Yeah. I was super sad that we didn't actually get to play this. But, you know, I got to talk about it. Got to get in on the camera. Of a game it that's like a two-hour game, anyways. Like you let them play like three rounds. This would be like times fifty. Well, I think they did. This is what it's like times fifty. I think he played. I don't know, but I think he played full games. Yeah, yeah, I think he did too. Because I think you had to sign up to get into those spots. You did. And all you that. did. Yeah, if you could you get had to know somebody or something. You don't need to teach. I feel like I would guess the strategy is you don't need to teach it to forty people at a convention. Teach it to ten or twelve. Who and are then have them away teach other people. Yeah, and who are going to walk away saying, it was amazing, and then, like, the ripple effect of the buzz from uh, there. Eric says he can't back on Mars until a skate plan arrives. I That's totally true. get That's that. True. Yeah. I totally get that. Wait, two Vitals at one time? Wait, Hold wait. Hold on. Uh, uh. Kickstarter infraction. <laughs> <laughs> Let me send off Shut a strongly down. worded letter. <laughs> to Kickstarter. Okay, so first off, I really love what Eagle Griffin Games is doing with the screen-printed pieces yeah, for the this. Yeah, the look offering, rad. Yeah, they did that with the skate plan, and they made the board so integrated where you put the cards exactly and just blends into the the board. Like, I love what they're doing with that and the boards and the pieces and everything yeah. so much because it adds an Ameritrash look to a heavy Euro board game. And I assume a lot of that is to Ian O'Toole's credit because I think he does a lot of the art and graphic design. Yeah. They've worked together before. It looks amazing. He's very acclaimed for his style, you know, his art and, and the style mm -hmm. that he brings and I also these titles. really like the fact that in this particular game, the mechanics are based not just on, all right, you know, we need to go in this direction and get this. No, no, no. This is like an all over thing. If I want to try and gain more houses, you know, I have to have more materials. And if I need more materials, then I got to send out more bots. And if I need to send out more bots, then I need more of this. So you like the and interconnectivity of it? Yeah, every yeah. You have to create this awesome balance yeah, you really have throughout to the ahead, whole game. Because it's real scarce resources. So up my alley. I got to get <laughs> oxygen, but to get oxygen, I need plants. Right. To get plants, I need fuel. To get fuel, I need, like, you know, you're just kind of going along. From playing Lisboa, that's exactly how – I haven't played a lot of his either, but Lisboa is like that. We're like, okay, I want to do this thing. Okay, in order to do this thing, I, do I this, need to do that and then step. You gotta do but this. in order to do that step, I need to do that. And you so you, you spend <laughs> a lot of time. What do I want to <laughs> do? And then like tracing back all of the steps that you have to get there. Which I am a hundred percent on board with because I love games like that. It's like, well, that's why I like playing games. I love thinking yeah. ahead and strategizing yeah. ahead to play that game, and then going, all right, this is the direction I'm going to go in. And up, oh, somebody takes this. Okay, now I need to retool exactly how I'm going to go. But it's more complicated, you know. Re Eno tool. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> 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 what else? <laughs> 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 
What now? What about the theme? What's up with Mars? It's like everybody's the, all about it's Mars. It's the planet everybody yeah. wants to go to right does now. This feel Mars is so hot right now. Does this <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. It's so <laughs> awesome. Like if you're not talking about Mars, is you're this, not is, Mars. Is this you're not like everyone? It. Is this like a oh Eagle Griffin? Why not Europa? Like <laughs> that's the one that's supposed to be like the closest. I've heard to great Europe, things. Right? And well, they had Ganymede. You know, that's and that true. talked about Ganymede. So, but they also went to Mars to get to Ganymede. I've so. heard great things about Uranus. <laughs> So <laughs> my question is, is this... Oh, my God, our um, five-year-old jokes. Is this terrible? <laughs> yes. Is this like jumping on the terraforming Mars bandwagon a little I bit? I don't think so. I mean, it even Besides looks kind of like it. The board, wise? the hexes. So I feel like this one is much heavier worker placement and less about... Um, because you're not really terraforming. You're not like, oh, I'm getting oxygen for the whole planet. Or no, you're like, right. you're like creating inventions and making stuff. It's more like you're yeah. making a specific settlement But I mean, people. do you think part of the success... Is obviously a oh. big part of the funding is Vital Lacerda, but is yeah. a big part of it also Terraforming Mars is awesome and this is another Mars game. I'm gonna love this. Like I wonder so I if there's just that's a hard because any space g- you can make that argument for any space initially game. Initially like, though, oh I, I really liked Eclipse, so now I like this space game, or oh I like space space, so <laughs> now I like this game. Vince is just never mind. He's responding to my <laughs> joke. <laughs> my bad, bad joke. I have little children at home. So initially I looked at this game and I thought that, Greg. I went ahead and thought, It, it actually kind of oh looks man, like it, too. This it's is the like a better terraforming Mars that I'm not going to get bored definitely with. Definitely a more complex, <laughs> like yeah. yeah. I didn't really get the and same terraforming I was excited Mars about that. <laughs> Put a it's nickel not a bunch in the of Uranus cubes. jar. It's not a bunch of cubes. It definitely looks way better than yeah. terraforming yeah, yeah, Mars. It looks more intense. But looks that like. was as far the as the graphic design, the components. That was the first game that I jumped to in my head was like, oh, is this going to be like this souped-up, amazing, cool version of like a game that I already like. I you thought know? it was like just like Matasura because it's also red and it's got no? Okay. Are they giving you 20 <laughs> bucks every time you mention their thing? I haven't too? mentioned their thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm 100% Oh, Kabuki on. Kid, who's I'm there? I'm 100% yeah. derailed. <laughs> Someone <laughs> told me a good five-year-old Europe. joke. Europe. <laughs> Europe. Europe who? <laughs> oh, Europe who? <laughs> oh, oh, no! oh! oh my gosh. <laughs> This is Duval. <laughs> oh, my game. gosh, guys. We're supposed to be official no, and talking too. about scientific stuff. I love that we I just did it. I can't take you guys anywhere. Like, think about the technology that <laughs> went into guys. doing that knock 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 We're using satellites <laughs> and space <laughs> and Internet and why all this high-speed Internet. There's a, bunch of, there's a internet. bunch of engineers sitting around right now going, like, and that's what they're using <laughs> and it and for? And that's it. And that's, that's, that's I what I thought we got. were going to cure cancer with the Internet. Instead, we're making Their stream jokes. is canceled. Their stream is canceled. Canceled. Kickstarter is going to cancel us. Kickstarter calls us. You guys are canceled. Uh-huh. Uh, the other really cool thing with this Kickstarter is the fact that, and you guys, you might want to chime on in on this and let me know what you think. You might want to, but you won't get to. The fact that they're offering Kickstarter editions of ones you might have missed, like Escape yeah, Plan they have and Lisboa. Lisboa on here. Yeah, yeah. Like, what is the wine one? Uh, Vin- 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 Vinos. Yeah. yeah. Vinos. So Vinhaus. I like that because if I missed with out the on German the Kickstarter. Of the game. I want to get that, but yeah. I don't know if some people who we backed saw that the Kickstarter last week originally too, didn't we? would be disappointed. Who was the one we saw that with last week, Why would week they too? be disappointed? Because other people can get it, too? Yeah, because other people oh. can get the Kickstarter. If somebody edition. else gets know. something I have, I want them dead. Well, I'm saying I'm excited about it, but I don't know what other people well, might Well, it's definitely think a good that. business move. I mean, you're going to get more you've backers. Got, right. Well, yeah, you've got because stock, you go from you have these $89 deals. Yeah. to like 100 and but something But did people who back Escape Plan think, Oh, part of the reason I'm doing this is because I want to have it and not have other people have you it. You still will for like Who a whole cares? year. Right. Yeah. That's the, for me, Kickstarter exclusive, as that's long true. as I get it first, that's all I care about. Like, I don't really care if If it's I love a I'm game, I want person. everyone to be playing it. So that's At a weird point, yeah. mindset to think. Yeah, like, when like you, bu- you bought Raccoon Tycoon, you were like, you brought it over for us to play. You didn't bring it over to show it to us and be like, cool, Look you guys like this? Look what I have. <laughs> I'm out. Uh-huh, I'm going to go play with my wife. You guys can't play. We got Quad Heroes, and do you want to see what it looks like? You'll never learn because you didn't back it, Greg. You can only look at it. So well you didn't back it, you don't play it. And that's part of what's good about the hobby, right? You back a thing and all these other people yeah, get I'm enjoyment. Yeah, sure you really off of enjoy it. that we back a thing. I enjoy it when you guys back a thing. You do, you do. <laughs> I was Upgraded hoping I'm like, oh, mission so markers, more to be revealed. <laughs> all right, guys. So, yeah, Eric is. Potatoes. Yep, because I did the Lacerda all in for escape plan. It hasn't arrived yet. Eric is super upset about escape plan not arriving. There's yet. only so many Kickstarter huh. dollars. I hope that. That gets to you soon because I've played Escape Plan and isn't it delivering already. I was I thought it was in the middle of delivering, so I don't know about that. Might just be on like the last wave of the delivery or something. 
Well, they often roll out. I mean, it takes a while before everyone gets the thing. I have not seen Brave New Worlds. Which Good one movie. was that one? Good movie. Good movie. I'm going to have to go back and look at that one. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a movie. All right, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> Greg, would you back this? So, I I had only played Lisboa, and then I played Escape Plan recently. Yes. I had always heard such good buzz about Vital Lacerda. Um, Lisboa I liked, but it, it's, it was so crunchy, like you're saying. You gotta yeah. In order to do this thing, you got to figure out all the five steps ahead of time. So it's the kind of game that even though I've played it, I would have to like relearn it because it's been a few ah, months. Okay. And these kinds of games like this where they're so crunchy and there's so much going on. They don't get out the table th often. They just don't get to the table that often. And Escape Plan kind of underwhelmed me. So I'm very like on the fence with Vital Lacerda. Okay. I, I want to love him, but it feels like his games – are just there's too much. They're not much. in your wheelhouse. And I don't mind crunchy euros, of, you know, Brussels 1893, you know, Kalis, whatever Trajan, but I f there just feels like there's there's so much going on. How would on. you rate this compared to the colonist? <laughs> 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 exactly, exactly. That's on my shelf of shame. It's been there yeah. for a long time, and there's a reason. I shouldn't, right? I shouldn't mock you because there's have a reason because those too. games take 12 hours to play. You know, so I, this is and I know so it's you're on the fence. I know it's Eagle Griffin, and I know it'll be available later at some point. So this is a, once again a try it before you buy kind of thing for me. But once again, because I'm 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 kind of on the fence about how I feel about Vital. I feel like I need to play more of his games more times before I know if I'm really a, a fanboy or not, or if he's just not for me. You know, right? Which can but I love the happen. look of it. There's um, certain games that are just not for me. I like think it's a designer. smart time to release it because of the Mars mania with the games. It seems like so. Mars mania. I wish them all the luck, but I just don't know if I don't know if he's my designer or not. All, all right, luck. Dr. Glory Hog. This is 100% up, not up my alley, but I'm going to break my normal rules. I'm I'm really interested in trying this one. I was watching the Ant Labs video, and I watched some of the other reviews, like Rado yeah. and stuff, and I was really like kind of looking into it, and I was like, this is something that's it, – it'll be like a – we won't play it a lot, so I'm, I'm worried about this, but this might be my version of Lisboa. Like, you have Lisboa on your shelf. You got that one really big game right. for when, that, when that's required. When we had company over for Arizona Game Fair – like Cassandra. Oh, yeah, yeah. It would have like been nice to – like that's what they wanted to yeah, play. Yeah, we played some lighter engine builders, but they and wanted like something Meh. like this. With a lot of meat on the bone. I, I, so I want this to have at least one in my collection of like this is my big yeah. super crunchy game, and I think this one is going to be the one for me because although I hate space generally, I do like the idea of colonization and taking over stuff. And Yeah, because you really, you really like the Terraforming Mars one. I did like Terraforming Even though Mars, they're not yeah. the same game. <laughs> Even though that's yeah. – yeah, that's – Terraforming Mars just seems absurdly light compared to this. I am 100% on board. I like how board. you bounce back and forth between Earth and then the the planet because like, you're like getting resources and then bringing them over. And so you have different actions based off where you are too. So it's like you're always playing on – you it's like you're playing on two different boards at the same time. So, so I'm 100% on board with this one. I really like the mechanics that are invested in it as far as, like, everything. You're everything links to everything, and that's just my type of game as a whole. Here and here cat. comes the cat, guys, so be prepared. Oh my God. <laughs> I love the fact it. that they're making these games look super Ameritrashy because, like, I want to have the best of both worlds. I want to have the theme. And with all the pretty pieces, along with an amazing long game and gameplay. Like, that's exactly what I want in a game. So, yeah, I'm 100% in on this. I'm, I'm down with this. I lured a dog, but not a cat. Yeah. Trying to get the cat to come to me so she doesn't jump on the table, but that's, that's not That's happen. the way she does it, guys. That's the way she does it. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually in. I, I want to give this one a shot. I think it's worth it. I think it's not overly priced. And that's $89 priced. for just the base oh. game. And then if you missed out that on any cheap. of the other stuff, it does get into that over $100-something dollars. Like, yeah. it was pricey. I was like, ugh. No, I mean, just the oh, one. But I could. I I'm good know. with just one. I don't, I don't hate know. space, but I do hate space yeah. in general. Space cat inbound. There's so definitely. much going on 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 the on Earth that we don't know about that we're always so worried about space, and it's just get over it. Are you anti NASA? I'm not an no, I think that what they do is important. <laughs> but a lot of things that they've done for NASA we're has pro helped us. SpaceX. Pro a lot SpaceX. of things <laughs> that have happened that NASA has done has helped yeah. us discover more about the ocean and our own planet. So sure. All right. And Tang. I just want to save this planet before we like go f up another one. <laughs> is all I'm saying. Like no, you just f everything up at the same time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just like when you got mad about Kickstarter. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so next up we have Paradise Lost. This is by Green Feet Games. It's for two to five players. It should last about 30 to 50 minutes. 
Now, what were your guys' first impressions of this game? First off, this their was video. Not a, this was not at all what I thought it was going to be. Their video had the most badass song in it, like, ever. I like the video, too. Oh I like the art and the whole look. Like, as the video's playing, I'm getting all pumped. I'm like, God, this, th I've heard this before. This song is awesome. Like, I went and looked up the song. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like, I saw, I was like, oh, it's that chick that does dubstep violin. I'm like, that makes sense. This is amazing. Like, I was so enthralled by the song in this that, like, I completely lost track of, I like, dig the art the I'm game lie. like just yeah i kind of dig the, the art too the, like the art that. is interestingly like adult it's like borderline though, like cosplay art you know how they'll like yeah. have art yeah, in games yeah. where it's just people dressed but up do you, but you find it interesting that like, like it's, the flying frog it's like games. a um, yeah. <laughs> it's like a family weight deduction game but then like the art seems like something you'd get more out of like an uh, epic war game or something right hold on or not a war game vincent but like a Yes. says we need cat minis cough. There is a thing for that on Kickstarter right now called Cats and Catacombs. Go look it up. Cats and There's catacombs. cat minis. It's not very much time left either. Yeah, yeah. so go look it up they're right small. now. They're small. <laughs> they're for D&D. &D. We backed that one too. Painted polygons is so – their stuff is so good. This opening video got me pumped up too. I don't yeah. I, maybe the music sort it was, of it was. leaked into my head. The they board looks cool. The art looks cool. Yeah. This so video. I thought this yeah. was going to be killed a lot it. like Grim Masquerade. Because I was like, oh, a deduction game, and it deals with a lot of the grim people and another fairy yeah, tale. Yeah, they're thing. smart to use so all this, like, so I thought, open, oh, available no, this is like right. I thought, oh, no, it's going to be something too similar to that. But I, no, and who doesn't want to play, games. like, some of the super – or some of the heroes, Perseus, you know, Hercules. the fable heroes? Yeah, like, like, who Hercules, doesn't want to play those, right? Well, I like that whenever you play with one of the heroes, you get their foil gets added in, too. So, like, if you're playing with, like, Little Red Riding Hood, the Big Bad Wolf gets added in. Yeah. If you're playing with, like, Hercules, like, the Namian Lion gets added in. Like So, like, there's always, like, a foil gets added in, Look how cool that board looks. The b I love the shape. I love of the board. boards with the unique shape. I love the fact that's that they done did enough. that. Yeah, it's not that big a deal, but it just looks cool on the table when you have something besides just a rectangle or a square. Everdell. Like the circle yeah, for that's asking true. for troubles. It it just it does it creates Everdell. a uniqueness. So you're like, oh, what yeah. is that? Everdell's what is, what just what like, like, yeah, I heard you guys like weird boards. What Here's a tree. <laughs> Boom. What does this quote mean? I don't know. That Sometimes quote, I was so confused an by imaginary that. imaginary world to save the real so world. So if you learn to love They're like in the game, you can learn to love in so real life. So do they think Greg. this game's going to like save the planet? It could save your it's planet. It's going to save your... It could save your life one day. Hand boning could save your life one day. If if it's cooperative, <laughs> it's going to save your friendships. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so think it is, though. No, you can play this in different ways, I thought. I thought in I different modes? Nope. I'm I watched a lot of the I was going to say. No, I, March of Ants. I watched a lot modes. of the yeah. Tantrum House video, and it looked like it was fully competitive. Yeah, no, it's competitive. I was, I, watched, I was looking at March of Ants because March of Ants has six hours left. For that reprint, and so and with plus expansion, so you I was looking at so that. off topic today. And I was like watching that right before I came today. in here. So sorry, <laughs> I got man. March of Ants on the brain. All right. So, as far as the video, they killed it in the video. I love the fact that you're playing fables in this. I like the little deduction portion I of it. I dig the art. It's, and I I read a qu quote in here where it was like Takedo meets Clue. That's exactly what it sounds like. And that is exactly the what movement it is like Takedo. Like. The goal is like clue, you know. Right. What's I the weapon? I like what's that the you person? You can actually, if you if you like form like one of the weapons or or whatnot, you can actually it'll tell you what the weapon actually is. So you can like skip part of the deduction if you do well on the board. Yeah. So you're like it'll tell you what the weapon is or it'll tell you who the villain is, and you're like, oh cool, I know who the villain is because I did this, and all I gotta do is guess the weapon. And then you got your deduction cards like clue that you can look at. Yeah. And then you're guessing cards that are in an envelope. So it, it looks like you have to like gain resource through the board movement yeah, to use to the resources to ask the questions. Right. To learn what the cards are, and I wonder, right. like, is that too much of a process? Like, do I have to do too many things before I can just ask a question? No, because like I, I want to go back to something like Clue, but I always just get too bored with it now. So I think. This but there's might a lot of good enough. gamer versions of Clue that have come out over the Name years. Some. There's Mystery of the Abbey and Sleuth and uh, yeah. Thirteen Clues. I didn't like Sleuth. There's the Office Clue. We had that. <laughs> I had the office clue. I like the Dunder Mifflin buffs. Speaking buffs. of good <laughs> intro songs. I just wondered if like there would be too much, like it would be frustrating because you're like, I just want to do a deduction game and there's too much like board to play before I can actually like. Too much board to play. <laughs> there's <laughs> too much foreplay Eric's before the point. deduction. All right, here comes the cat, guys. Eric's got, a, Eric's got a good point. He says, love Eclipse but hate space, March of the Ants. And that's exactly it. I All right, full cat butthole. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll take kitty. And now for the colonoscopy <laughs> cam. Here's a cat. She's a cat. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, she's so upset. All right. 
I don't know. I, I like the look of it, but when I yeah, watch Yeah, Alan's going in for March of the Ants, baby. Awkward March of the too. Ants. Yeah, like that's five what I'm hours left. About. March of the Ants. All right. Yeah, Awkward Guest is another example of like a gamer's okay. clue. I just feel like there's a l- this genre's been done a lot. So you got to bring Do any of them have like giant hydras in it? Because this one does. <laughs> So you're all in. Tell me, Greg. You sound excited. Tell me, Greg. <laughs> See, I always knew you were a Bond villain. <laughs> I tell me what you think. Personally, like I love everything about this game except for like kind of what you're hitting on is a little bit is like the mechanics of it. I don't know if it's going to be too slow. Like for me to get involved in like the deduction part of it. Okay. It feels like there's too many other things. Like I want to play just a deduction game or I want to play like a move around the board, collect resource kind of game. I don't know if the right. two combined the, the are going to work. The two combined work. mesh well together. So I don't know. are you saying you'd have to try this before you bought it? <laughs> 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 I mean, I love the look. I love the board. I love the art. I love the idea yeah, of it. Yeah, no, they, but they did a really good job with all of this. But I, I, I just don't know. I see, don't know. this is something that, like, if she wasn't around, I could, I would see myself backing it because she really liked Clue. When we first got together, Clue was, like, her jam. Yeah. That was one of her favorite, like, childhood, you know, games. Sure, sure. So, like, if I would have seen this just without knowing, uh, you know, I would have been like, yeah, I'm going to back this just because. I like that they did the erasable stuff here, I also too. But you get one, I think. I also wonder if like the deduction that. part is. This is the, collec- this is the collector's edition, like the We're going to look one. at the collector's edition. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> also wonder if the deduction part might be too easy. It doesn't seem like there's, like, enough weapons and characters. I don't know. Think so? I mean, there's not enough like different there's categories. There's at least eight, and because like even Clue, which is like a family weight game, there's like three things. You got to know the person, three, the three, room, three. the yeah. weapon. Here which it's creates a lot stacked on each well other. Well, I think a lot of this lot of too is is like whoever finishes certain whoever finishes a certain goals that gets determined in the very beginning is the first person who gets to guess too. So like you get to the end, yeah. And if you're the first person to guess, you'll just get to like you know push somebody yeah, else out. Yeah, you don't have to. So there's another goal. Win particularly that way because if I think if you get like the sword into the area, then you or not the sword, but you know the whatever it, whatever is. it is that you're gonna the slay item. the monster Staff with or something. And to the area, then you can automatically win the game as well. Mm-hmm. And then there was like a third way to win the game too. It just feels like there's, there's guessing, collecting uh, something. And I just don't know if everything's going to mesh as well. I don't know. I'm concerned. Is this Does this have an option to play like on Tabletopia or anything? I don't know. I didn't see any Tabletopia play on this one, guys. No. Yeah. I, I like that. I think the shipping for the U.S. was free on this one, though, wasn't it? That's good. Now that you're at shipping. Oh, I don't know. Let me go. Do, 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 do. Free. Woo-hoo. It was right there. Yay. So. Stateside privilege. I'm on the fence this with this States, because then, it probably. looks amazing. Or at least. But I don't know if this is going to be the type of game that I'm going to want to play over and over. And I think Fair that's yeah. the only ho- the only holdback that I have from it is just that fact that, like, I don't know if I'm, I'm personally going to want to play it over and over get again. I know that when me and Dr. Glory Hog play games, that happens to me a lot faster than it does to Dr. Glory Hog. Kind of burn out. I do. Yeah, I'm just like, the only one she does it that is like rolling rights and stuff. But like, you know, for me, like if we're playing something like Ravel, I'm like, well, we've already got that. Let's just play it again. And she's like, oh, no, let's do something else. I'm like, okay, like I'll play a game two or three times in a row if it's, especially if it's a short, like an hour or less. My wife's game. more like that too. She's Terraforming like, let's Mars. move on to something else. Yeah. We played Terraforming yeah. Mars. When I learned it and I showed it to her, we played it and I was like, let's play it again. And we did. And then I'm like, let's play it again. And then we did. And I was fine with that. But then she didn't want to go back to it right away like next weekend kind of where out. I was like like I like because it takes me I think it's because it takes me longer <laughs> to learn the strategy and stuff Vincent <laughs> got out of the doghouse with his uh, uh, significant knock other knock joke, because of the right? knock knock joke <laughs> <laughs> if you take nothing else away from this today guys hopefully you get some oh, good like highlights right. magazine Super style awesome humor knock knock <laughs> so you're are you in or out on this I'm one? out on this just one. completely out I, I, I mean I, I, all of the Almost any Kickstarter, I'd be like, okay, I'll play it. I'll play almost any right. game once to try it, but I'm not tempted to fund to, to back this. Okay, that's fair. I, I was more tempted to until I heard her response, and then I'm like, oh, I'd be getting it mostly for you. Well, so just yeah, just because. Yeah, I'd be getting it more for you because Clue was never my favorite game, but that's yeah. that's fine. I liked Tigo personally. <laughs> um, th- what? That was like one of my favorite ones. Was I love that game and, growing up. And Monopoly. I played a lot of Monopoly. Yeah. A lot what about of Monopoly. Life? Play a lot of Life? All right, no, guys. we didn't have Life. Oh, you're lifeless. Yeah, so that was everybody. I think so. You're a no go. Yeah, I'm definitely. I want to play it though. I'm on the fence. I would would play it, but yeah, I don't think that's something I feel like I need to back today. I feel like I would play like just going forward. You would play anything. I'll play any game once. I'll give any game a try. Mm Fifty-two card pickup. I played that game. Like if I had, I had older brothers, I played 72 that game. Seventy-two <laughs> card pickup. If I had played this at a convention or something pick up. like Pathfinder that, the card game pickup, <laughs> it would have been Dominion different. Dominion with all the expansions. It would have yeah. been different if I had played this at a convention Eric or something. Eric says I'm I'm kick jaded. 
Kick jaded. Oh, I'm, a yeah. I'm a little kick jaded. Aww. I admit I'm hard to please when it comes to games. Yeah, but that's important. We have to have somebody who has like some I'm the sense. Yeah, yes, I'm the voice of it. the skeptic. You uh, know? It, it goes exactly like this. I'm always super pumped about Kickstarters. <laughs> yeah. You're always in the middle. And I'm you always get pumped like, not, and you're always come like, on, Meh. show me something. Like, and that's the whole point is like you yeah. get I have very three different taste. huge point of views. I'm comfortable that. with yeah. that yeah. role is, of the like hard to please guy. Three different styles of gamers too, because I'm like heavy strategic. We have an Ameritrasher here, and you're like more heavy Euro. I'm a, yeah. And you're you Euro game. You can replace the Ameritrasher with uh, likes games that are fun. <laughs> well, I actually feel more like an Omni gamer because I'll you try are. anything. Okay, more an Omni but gamer, I yeah. But my roots, you roots are were in, in Euro, Euro games. Game. Yeah. So and I'm more mechanic me, driven than I, I am. I look at the Euros and I'm just kind of like, eh. Like, yeah. it, it really takes you to pressure me to be like, oh, we're going to set this up. Because you need that good theme behind it yeah, in order otherwise to entice I don't really want to wanna make it, wine like ever. There's never a time where I'm like, I want to make <laughs> wine <laughs> in a game. Guys, I have a method for my madness for you guys, okay? That's right, man. <laughs> we're all bringing something different to the table. Very different people. One last thing I'll say about Paradise Lies is I am going to look for a copy of it and try to get a play of it whenever it first comes out. Yeah, we would love to get a play of it and check it out and see. Yeah, I think so. But like, I do want to. I am interested in playing it. I want to know how all that meshes together and if it's going to be something that's going to be. Uh, a really good game for me and the family. Oops. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Oh, Greg, where can us. we check you out at? <laughs> Hooked on Geek, new audio podcast every Monday. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. That's right. At Dr. Glory Hog, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, <laughs> Twitter. I forgot what they were. And if you guys like the show, M- MySpace. make sure to check us out on Ko-Fi and get us some coffee. That would be super awesome. You guys contribute directly to our equipment and then what we can do later in the year. And I have three new phone backgrounds up that are Dice inspired on Ko-Fi. And then right now I'm contacting some companies as far as I have like other backgrounds already finished. I just want to make sure it's okay to post them. So I'm hoping to have more up soon. Do you have Folding Space posted? Folding Space is posted. So you can't actually get the game, but you (laughs) can get the background for your phone. You can get the background for your phone and look super cool. Because we at least got to see it. And you can show your support for the company. That's right. By rocking the background. And then like take pictures with it like. Yeah. Folding Space and I are at the Met right now. I was Folding Space and I are at Endgame. <laughs> Folding Space are watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> resist Kickstarter. And thank you Hashtag. for everybody that joined Hashtag us resist. today. We had an amazing time talking with you guys and stuff. Oh, and Vincent's like saying some very sweet things yeah, about we how he really loves all of us. Aww. 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 Vincent. <laughs> we had a great time, especially talking about the great Kickstarter debacle of 2019. That's what I'm going to call it. Kickstarter wow, debacle. It's early. I think there can be worse. No, this is going to be the only one that is clean sailing throughout the rest okay. of the year. That's Fair it. Enough. That's all we're doing. Flash <laughs> forward to a month from now, there's going to be like a Kickstarter when you back it, it gets your computer a virus. Check Aww. out March of the Ants <laughs> and Cats and Catacombs. Those are oh yeah, two Cats things and Catacombs, I'm guys. All in on. Absolutely. All right. Well, we, we oh, will talk to you guys before later. Before we oh. end, yeah. I, I saw the 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 new Avengers movie. You guys want to know how it ends? No. Uh,